Yo, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Some News, baby. Hashtag Farm Some News. Today, we have 17 PC mods in testing. We got seven console mods in testing. With all those 18 mods were released today, Sid Modding is working on a European version of his X9 Combine. A2 Studios TLX Phoenix is already on the testing list. Casarius Modding also have their Case IH Magnum 2007 2008 on the testing list. Blue Organ Modding also has something on the testing list. Their John Deere 6R. AAA Modding are turning a mower into a forklift. Already modding update us on their dually 20 foot trailer. Plus, Adams Kong has a new trailer transport for vehicles. Very cool. Let's check it out. In test T4 PC, we have the Allen 14T, Bell Fork with three point hitch, BKT AS 504 R18, Case Magnum 2007 2008 Series, Seller, Cultivator KN 2.8, Bent Farmer 310 312 LSA Turbomatic, Crass 257, Liquid Separator for Manure, Lower Saxony 21 Final, Mezzo Medic Q75 1360 Multi, don't know how to say this one, but this one, Soil Packing Station, The Sin Track, 3 point ball hitch, TLX Phoenix Semi, and Vincon Live. In testing for consoles, we have the Case IH AFS Connect Steiger Series, Cobblestone, Dairy Sheep, Easy Shed Set, Gettler Simplex 2530, John Deere 6R Series, and Cell Point for Digestate. All that being said, we still have 15 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods, you guessed it, is one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, 18 new and updated mods were released today on the end game modem, including Map Attack. Italian, John Deere 8000 series, and the Dewey's Alice. I've already made a video showing these off and more. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment below and description as well. Making our way into today's top stories, and we start with Sid Modding and his John Deere X9 Combine. He says that he will be finishing the update to include a European option for those of you that don't want to use the X9 or maybe doesn't fit your map or maybe your playstyle. European version will be perfect for you guys. There's still quite a few things left to do, including the addition of a different ladder animation, improvement of the European stickers, taking away the option of adding additional tanks, adding European wheel configurations, small corrections around the mod overall, fixing screws on the ladder, and adding some new screws. Sid finishes by saying that after the X9 European version is done, and after his John Deere 9R and the 9030 projects are released, he'll be focusing on getting headers for the X9 combine made and released. Those will still be a little ways away, so keep that in mind, but make sure you get subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss that announcement. As you saw on the testing list today, A2 Studios TLX 9000 Phoenix Semi Truck is now in the first stage of testing after only being uploaded yesterday. This is great news, not only for this mod, but anything else that's being submitted to Giants for testing. They are really on the ball right now, and that's awesome. Though the Semi Truck is on the testing list for PC right now, it will be released on all platforms, once testing is completed. David makes all of his mods for everyone, so no matter what you play on, PC, iMac, PlayStation, or Xbox, everyone will be able to enjoy this truck once it's done. Unfortunately, we don't know when that's gonna be or how long it's gonna take to pass testing. Most things do not pass on the first time around, keep that in mind, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'll keep you updated once we know more. Another mod that's in testing right now is Casarius Modding's Case IH Magnum Series 2007-2008. This, just like the semi-truck, will be for all platforms it will have five different engine models, the 215, 245, 275, 305, and 335 Magna models. Unfortunately, not much else is known or has been said about this mod, so we're just going to wait and see what the options are once it releases. And yet another model that is currently on the testing list today is Blue Augen Modding's John Deere 6R Pack Update version 2.1. This update will include support for Simple IC, New configurations, including a panoramic roof and new warning signs, as well as the original John Deere 6R series wheel weights, plus some visual improvements all around the model. This will be an update for all platforms and should be available very soon. AAA Modding are back with us today for the first time in a while and have been working on an update to the Forstra E303, which is known for being one of the first self-propelled mowers in Farming Simulator 19 for all platforms. This new update will include a new front loader forklift style attachment that's going to help you move things around easier around your farm. By the looks of it, it appears to be just an optional attachment, though there's a chance that this could be a new model altogether. The tractor itself is pretty sturdy and very easy to control, so this may be a good option, a really good option in fact, for those of you out there that want to move things around your farm, but maybe don't have a good uh, resource or a good piece of equipment to use for that yet. Keep an eye out for this one soon. 
be updated for all platforms. 40 Modding have an updated post for their Dually 20-foot trailer today, in which they say they are getting closer to the final release. From the screenshots, you can see the new dirt textures, as well as some of the various customization options that will be available, including wheels, tires, color options, and more. They say that all animations are done, and they are currently completing the various trailer configurations, and where, uh, where textures, things like that. Once these are done, the mod will be ready for testing. However, they do use the wording release testing. So I'm not 100% sure if this is something that's going to become a mod hub for PC or all platforms. Maybe it's just something they're going to release on their Facebook page exclusively. They are known for doing that, by the way. So we'll just have to wait and see. I'll let you guys know as soon as that information has been made available. And lastly today, are you having trouble getting all of your cars or trucks transported from one farm to another? Maybe you have a vehicle delivery service, but you have no way of transporting more than one or two vehicles at a time. Well, not to worry, because Adam's Kong, creator of the Beetle mod for all platforms, is working on something new, a trailer to transport vehicles. I'm sure most of you seeing this around the world are used to seeing this type of transport uh, trailer, whether you're in the UK, maybe you're in the States or somewhere else. A lot of car dealerships use this and even some personal vehicle collectors use this to move all of their collections or part of their collection from one place to another. I wish I had that problem, that'd be great. Well, the good thing is at least at some point down the road, pun intended, you will be able to move the vehicles in game at least very easily thanks to this really cool trailer. I'm always interested in animations and configurations on things like this, it just looks awesome. I love seeing the upper deck raised down and lower and all the parts moving together in harmony. Not much else, unfortunately, has been said about this, only that it's a work in progress. Keep that in mind, very likely be for all platforms unless something goes drastically wrong. Either way, stay tuned to the channel as I'll bring you updated information on this and everything else as that information makes itself available. And I'll make the outro available to you guys right now. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Remember, there will be no new mods or Farm Sim news on Wednesday. We'll be doing them tomorrow, and we'll be back on Thursday. So do keep all that in mind. But all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Room is so bright and open. There's so much room for activities.